Hello YouTube. Uh, this video is going to show you how to calculate the electrical cost for your mining rig. And uh, for fun of it, I also then uh, use that to figure out whether my two rigs are uh, profitable. So I have a uh, GTX 960 2 gigabytes a gaming machine uh, with that video card in it that I use uh, for mining uh, uh, when I'm not playing games. And then I have a dedicated rig with a GTX 1070 with 8 gigabytes. So here's how you do your electrical costs. And uh, these are real, real numbers uh, based on my electrical usage uh, and uh, the bill I got in uh, February for the month of January. So, uh, so as you start with the total electric bill that you got in dollars, as you can see, it's the same for both because it's your whole house uh, usage. Uh, your bill will also then also tell you uh, how many kilowatts of usage that represents. So for me, it was 1,229 kilowatts. Based on that, you can then calculate the cost per kilowatt used, uh, 13 and a fraction cents. You take the, uh, the total kilowatts and divide it by the total dollar amount to give you the uh, price in dollars per kilowatt used. All right, then uh, you have to figure out your, your, your uh, mining rig load the watt in watts. Now this is, for me, I did this two ways. On my GTX uh, 960, I have an APC uh, UPS that has a readout on the, on the watts uh, being consumed. And uh, for the GTX 1070 dedicated rig, I have a kilowatt meter. Now it's important when you do this that uh, you only want to measure what you're actually using for mining. So, you, uh, and as, as the status of your rig, uh, when it would be running uh, 24 hours a day. So I turn off all the monitors, uh, particularly on the, uh, on the APC UPS because the monitors are on that. So you don't want that included in the, in the wattage calculation. And any other applications that you may run that are not mining related that you wouldn't run in off hours while you were mining. So you want to have a, a clean representation of what the mining usage actually is based on your application. Uh, then um, that, the, those meters will tell you the usage, the load in watts. Convert that into kilowatts by dividing by a thousand. Okay. Then uh, you want to calculate how many kilowatts you're using per day. Uh, assuming if you run 24 hours a day, like I do, uh, then you would uh, use 24 if you're only running seven hours a day or some variation on that, you'd put in the right number of hours. And then that, from that, by multiplying the number of hours times the load, uh, kil the kil kilowatt load, you get the total uh, kilowatts used in a day by your rig. So you can see what it is for the 960 and for the 1070. All right, then you want to figure out the rig cost per day. So you got to take your total usage per day in kilowatts and multiply it by the uh, the price the price per kilowatt in your load, and that gives me sixty eight cents for the nine sixty and ninety three cents for the ten seventy now I should mention that the the load from the meter is going to fluctuate to a certain extent um, it's, uh, based on whether the CPU kicks in and does something or the fans kick in to higher gear or whatever. Uh, but it's a, if you use an average, it doesn't, vary, it doesn't uh, oscillate a large, a large extent, uh, maybe 10 to 15 watts. So you watch it for a little while and then you use what the, typically in the, in the middle of the range uh, for the calculation. Uh, now, the uh, I have tried this with both, with two different miners. I use Nighthash Mining, a miner, and I also use Wind Miner. 
and doesn't really change, the load doesn't seem to change between the two miners. All right, so then based on that uh, cost uh, per day for the two different cards, I wanted to see uh, how does that look compared to uh, the profitability of the, the various, uh, the two uh, rigs that I'm using. So here we have the nice hash miner income per day. This is taken right off of the, uh, the mining application console, tells you uh, what the daily income is. Uh, for the GTX 960, uh, using Night Hash Miner, it's 89 cents, and for the 1070, it's uh, 229. Now these numbers fluctuate a fair amount, depending upon uh, which algorithm they're using, and uh, also fluctuates from day to day, based upon the dollar currency translations of whatever altcoin they're mining. Uh, which can fluctuate significantly. Uh, so I decided to use what I would say was a typical uh, cost. And I'd say a typical is uh, higher, lower, and even in the mid-range, but just seems to be like at, at the particular time I was doing preparing for this video, this is what uh, it was reading. I've seen them, particularly for the 970, I've seen them higher, and I've seen them a little lower. So. So based on that, uh, you can then figure out the profitability per day. So you take the cost for the rig, subtract it from the income to get the profitability. So you can see the 10, the 960 is still profitable, even though Bitcoin and all the coin cryptocurrencies are way down, up a little bit from a couple of days ago, but still way down. And the 1070 is still uh, much better in terms of profitability. I did the same thing looking on the console of the wind miner, uh, the tune machines, and that was 49 cents and a dollar 34 cents. Uh, this is really typical, actually, of wind miner. Uh, it pretty much spends all its time mining Zen. It will, for brief periods, do some kind of benchmark on a different, uh, different uh, cryptocurrency, but then stop that after about 10 seconds and then go back to mining Zen. Whereas the uh, Night Hash Miner uh, will do a, a somewhat wider range of algorithms. NeoScript, NIST 5, uh, uh, Kekak, that's how you pronounce it, uh, Blake 2, uh, a few others. Um, but the ones that seem to be most profitable seem to be the NeoScript and the NIST 5. So on the, 10, on the 960, it was running the NIST 5 and the 1070 was running uh, the Neo script. So you can see, oh, I'm sorry, so back to the wind mine, you can see that the 960 is no longer profitable at the current uh, exchange rates, whereas the 1070 is still uh, by a moderate amount. I wouldn't say a little, but certainly not a lot. The interesting thing is this is fairly representative of the difference in performances between the two miners. Wind miner is pretty much always less, sometimes significantly less profitable than uh, night hash miner. Uh, in the past uh, month or so, usually it was about 30% 30, 30 spread. Here you can see the difference is more like, uh, uh, well, it's not 100%, but it's close to it. Uh, and I've seen it be 50%. Uh, uh, more profitable on wind miner by for significant periods of time. So uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, might be a function of uh, this is actually selling hash power to people who are buying it on night hash miner. So uh, people have, people overpay, then it's going to be more profitable compared to I think uh, with wind miner. It's actually just looking at the current price of the cryptocurrency and. Like that, using that as the calculation. Uh, I don't know if that, that's the case for the fact, but that's my impression. So there you have it. I hope that helps you figure out uh, your electrical cost for your machine, for your mining rig, and then using that uh, to figure out uh, how profitable you are or, or not uh, based on what you're doing. Hope that helps and is informative.